And now we come to the third and final store for today. Probably my oh, probably my favorite of the three we've been to. It's called Book Off. Uh, this is my favorite in terms of uh, just the variety of stuff they have here, as well as how much not just retro games, but also uh, just books, movies. They got figurines here too. Well, let's just go inside and I'll show you. Here they got got PS4 Pros here. PS4 Pros for about 270 bucks. PS4s actually they got Xbox Ones over here. It's the first time we got to see an Xbox One. Selling for about 100 bucks, 150, 170. So yeah. Got some more consoles up there. Like all kinds of 3DS games, probably the biggest stock we have here. Right. PlayStation 4 games, looks like they have a sale. 20% off. So this is a very interesting game. This is a Densha No Goal. This is the PS4 version. Oh, come on, focus. It's a PS4 game, but um, this they have these have they have these kind of games since the Super Famicom at least. Basically, it's a simulator where you get to actually drive the train. The famous Japanese train systems. It's a very brutal game. I played the one on the arcade. They dock you for everything. So it's pretty bit of an interesting one. Around the corner we have uh, video game strategy guides. I actually have a couple of these. Of course, they're all in Japanese, but they got the pictures. I think, I think are just. Ah, I can't talk today. I think the pictures more than help with. The, I have the Super Mario Odyssey one because I've been trying to look for all the purple coins and uh, all the side mission stuff. So. Got Dragon Ball figurines. There's all sorts of figurines here. We'll get into that in just a bit. It's PlayStation Vita. A ton more games here than there are in America. Some more uh, PS3 games. This is all the PlayStation section. These are all PS2 games. Yeah. Whoa, they got Bully. There we go. They have Bully for uh, eight, eight, almost nine dollars. It's pretty good. So yeah, occasionally you will find American games here, but uh, it's mostly Japanese games. Which one is this? It's a doggy game. I'm not sure what that is. Ape Escape. Uh, Oh, is that Crash Bandicoot? It is. This is Crash Bandicoot Tag Team Racing for $9. Pretty good. Hmm. That one was actually an alright game. What else we got? I think that's Ratchet & Clank. For $3. Jesus, that's really cheap. Ratchet & Clank is actually really popular. So what they do is, for American games, sometimes they'll redesign the characters to make them look more cutesy, kawaii, that kind of thing. So, uh... Yeah, they do this with Crash, they did it with Jack and Daxter, and they did it with Ratchet and Clank. And I guess it helps too, because the games do sell pretty well. Here's the first one. Well, okay, they didn't do it with this one, it looks like. Just, uh... Yeah, this is the first Ratchet and Clank. I guess they didn't bother redesigning them for that one. PSP games. Xbox games, but, uh... Hmm, is that, this is probably the biggest selection we found so far. What do we got for the Xbox One? This is, uh, Dark Souls. Battlefield 4, Battleborn, <laughs> that died pretty quickly, Forza, some more Forza, some GameCube games right there, kind of sandwiched between, kind of sandwiched between Xbox and PS1 games, so let, let's pick a few out here, Mario Kart, this one is uh, Double Dash, the best Mario Kart, 15 bucks, that's actually a really good price, this is uh, Mario Tennis, here it's about 5 bucks, Mario Party 6, 9 bucks. Ah, sorry. We got your Luigi's Mansion, 9 bucks. So, I'm very jealous of GameCube games being much cheaper here than they are in America. Super Mario Sunshine, $18. Hmm. A little bit more expensive, but uh, it's much cheaper than it is in America. Oh, Ridge Racer Type 4 for the uh, PlayStation. How much does this go for? 
Just $3. This is actually a very good game. I love the soundtrack. It's good stuff. So, yeah, up here. Game Boy Advance titles. Some more Pokemon games. I think that's... Got Pokemon, Black 2. That For some reason, the Black 2 and White 2 games got much more expensive in America. They're like $50, $60 now. Thank goodness I have my copy, but that's crazy. Some 3DS games. Again, I got more than the 3DS games. Thanks to that mystery pack. Whoa, Sonic Generations. 15 bucks. If only I could find that game for the PlayStation 3. For some reason, Sonic 06 was the only one I found that... <clears throat> the only 3D Sonic game I found. I was looking for Sonic Forces and Generations. There's some other games here, too. And these are anything you're the cheapest of them all. Some loose copies. Here we have some retro games. Um, usually, Book Off has, like, a lot of retro games. Uh, this, like, I've seen some stores that have much of a bigger selection. This is you, Hawker Show. I didn't know they had a Game Boy Advance, a Game Boy game. What kind of game is it? Looks like a fighting game. Yeah. Interesting. Some loose PSP games. Is there Twisted Metal in here? Probably not. DS Lite XL. Only $27. Man, this thing is ginormous. I have enough DS's already. N64 controller, $15. Mm -hmm. The Pokeball Plus for Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu. 27 much see look at it, half off much cheaper than it is to buy it new of course man there could be something wrong with it they do tell you if something's up with it gamecube can't tell the price is that looks like nine bucks give or take Ooh, 18 dollars got some box games here it's 64 Kong racing. Sometimes I'll put a little sticker here to notify you if there's something missing or if it doesn't work. Hmm. Some Super Famicom games. These are like all sports games, soccer games. No, the Gundam game. The Wario game. Yeah, I think you've seen more than enough of the games. Let's take a look at the figurines. Probably the other big thing they have here in uh, Book Off. Yeah, the Disney figurines. Look at these. These are actually kind of nice figurines. Reasonably priced too, like 15 bucks. I normally don't go for figurines because they're usually pretty pricey and all they do is just stand there. Nice decorative piece, but yeah, these are actually pretty good. How much is that Woody one? About $14. Well, yeah, if you like Disney figurines, this is a good place, good place to check out. And it looks like a bobblehead. Mickey Mouse bobblehead. Yeah, Mickey and Minnie. About seventeen dollars each. Well, Mickey is seventeen. The other one, Mickey Minnie Mouse, is uh, twenty-two dollars. Go down here, see some other figurines. Look like some more Disney figurines. Again, very cheap. Ooh, look at that Buzz Lightyear one. It's about eleven dollars. That Mickey Mouse one's about eleven bucks too. I'm gonna take a look at Buzz Lightyear one. This one's actually pretty nice. Oh, it's not. It's just like. It's not actually him paint it. It's just. Uh, are you supposed to paint this yourself? Is that what this is? Whatever it is, it looks cool. I kind of like this Buzz Lightyear. Good thing it's in the box. I did not just drop that. Let's see a Kingdom Hearts Funko Pop down there. Funko Pops. I I think they're actually pretty rare here in Japan. You don't see them everywhere like you do in America. Oh, there's some more Kingdom Hearts figurines. So, what other stuff we got here? 20th anniversary Sonic the Hedgehog. $10. That's actually really good for Sonic the Hedgehog. Mario. Splatoon. Wonder Woman 84. Wow, really? Seven bucks, huh? This feels like something that should be more. Or maybe they're just this small. Speaking of which, Star Wars. Hmm. I'm just interested in this Wonder Woman one. Looks like it's a big figurine. Yeah, it's only uh, 
It's only seven bucks, give or take. Harry Potter, Hermione, Supergirl. Yeah, I guess I guess, maybe this is why they don't have Funko Pops in Japan because they have bigger, they have better stuff like this for a much better price. It's not just you know anime figurines too. They also got these uh, little ships and tanks and stuff that you can build. Little Gundam figures, also pretty pricey. Well, also also pretty good price. Well, this one's like forty bucks, but yeah, they got all kinds of stuff here. Cars, some more robots, Gundam. They got some trains. These are actually pretty expensive. Well, this one is. This one's just rolling stock, so it's only $14. But I guess the engines themselves are much more expensive. Not, uh, yeah, here we go. So the locomotive, $49. That's actually quite pricey. Maybe it's because it actually has, it actually moves stuff. Here we have the music CDs. Uh, this one you can buy. Prices vary, of course, unless you go to the price down section. Let's check the price down section and see what they have here. Well, actually, Radiohead, Rolling Stones. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay, so these are alphabet. I do like that they're alphabetized by American Alphabet. Aerosmith, Avril Lavigne. Let's just pick a random one. Arrowhead Greatest Hits. That's about... But the camera will focus. Come on. Sorry, the camera's... The focus is not... Five bucks. Okay. About five dollars. So this truly is the fiber below section, so... I don't know if you want to collect music CDs, that's the one to do it. Here's the J-pop stuff. Again, I don't recognize. Well, Mr. Children, I do know, who, I kind of have an idea who he is, because some of the high school students bring him up. Mr. Children, spot five, so. Four sixty-four. it's about $4.64. Oh, that music you're hearing right now, that's Arashi. They're kind of like the Japanese, uh, Japanese Backstreet Boys. Very popular. I think uh, recently they just announced that they're going on hiatus though. You are my soul, soul. Da, na, da, 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 do, 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 do. I don't know the lyrics. Uh, wasp, white snake. This, how much is white snake? It's about six dollars. Green day. Oh, green day. How much is green day? Fifteen dollars. Or let's see. What? How about this one? Green Day, that one's seven dollars, give or take. Beatles, ten dollars, fourteen dollars. All right, David Bowie, seven dollars. Okay, so you know, music CDs are pretty cheap here. So if you're looking for anything particular, um, Japanese or American hits, this is a good spot to be. Of course, in a place called Book Off, they're gonna sell well books, usually for pretty cheap as well. These are not manga. The manga's upstairs. These are all just regular books. All in Japanese. Like, you know, I, let's pick a random one out. Let's see what that one... Let's see what it says. Kafuto... Kafuto Nihongo. Okay. I, I, I know the Japanese. I just... Yeah, I don't get it. Sorry. I wish I could translate it for you, but I'm not... My Japanese ain't that good. Here's some more books. How much? How much do these little books go for? Wait, are these like anime novels? Is that it? Wait, I saw a picture there. Looks like it. I'm not entirely sure. Still, pretty cheap. Only a dollar. Most of these books, I think, are only a dollar. Let's check this one. One dollar. Yeah, these are all the. Oh, psh, it says right there the one dollar books, plus tax. They even sell records here. How much are these records? That's two dollars. About eight bucks. Twenty-one dollars. I don't know if they have any American artists here. Let's find out. This is the checkers. Is there a price on this? About three bucks. So yeah, if you're into vinyl records, they have that here too. All right, let's go upstairs. Demon Slayer stuff. Again, Demon Slayer is very, very popular here. Oh. 
Here's the card games and all the anime manga stuff. They also got one dollar manga here. Hmm, I don't know what this is. This looks kind of cool. I might get this one. So yeah, one dollar manga. Here you are. You find all goods, all sorts of stuff here. Got some pins, a few plushies here from different anime shows. I don't recognize any of this, so I couldn't tell you where it's from. They also got these uh, Tomika kind of toys, sort of like uh, Japanese Hot Wheels. Most of these are about 11 bucks, 14 bucks. Pretty cheap, and they're die cast too, so they're in pretty good quality. Dragon Ball Z cards. Then we got the Pokemon cards over here. Here are the prices you want to take a look. Again, it all depends on uh, what Pokemon it is, how rare it is, holographic or whatnot. I don't know if this is cheaper than how what it is in America or more expensive. I don't collect Pokemon. I don't collect cards, Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards, any of that. So yeah, you'll have to do that research for yourself. And of course, you got anime figurines. A lot of anime figurines. Dragon Ball Z. Pretty cheap prices for what they are, I think. And back here we got One Piece stuff. One Piece also very popular in Japan. Also doesn't want to freaking end. Three hundred, three hundred fifty. So about three fifty, three three dollars and fifty cents. You want Godzilla? You can buy them for five bucks. Actually, I'm just curious. Is it? No, it's a plastic toy. I thought it was like a squeaky toy. And over here we got some uh, the trains. The little blue track trains. Some of them are the Shinkansen trains. Others, like here's the Shinkansen train. It's only, damn, it's only a dollar ten. This is Thomas the Tank Engine. Also a dollar ten. Man, this is a cheap ass toy. I wish I had this one. I wish I had this store around when I was a kid. I would have my parents buy me the whole damn store because it was going for that cheap. Here we got a little bit of uh, a few knickknacks, a bit of chingoderas, Pokemon. Squeezy some squeezable bread, it looks like. Yeah, it's supposed to, it's like a little stress relief bread. <laughs> Down here, we got uh, these little like Happy Meal toys, or it's just a bunch of stuff that's like, ah, we can't put it on the shelf, just throw it in here and charge it 200 bucks, 200 yen, two dollars. Kind of reminds me of the swamp meets in California where they used to do the same thing, too. Okay, and that's about it for a book off. Unfortunately, my phone's dying right now, so I couldn't show you more of that store. Although I think I gave you a pretty good idea of what's in book off. Maybe, maybe some other time I'll do another visit and uh, show you some more of uh, book off. So yeah, those are my three favorite places. Uh, most of it's for retro games, of course, but there's you can find a lot of cool other cool stuff in there too. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you can come down to Japan and uh, check out these stores for yourself. I mean, obviously with COVID, that who knows how long that's going to be. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.